Did you know that despite being connected with technology like never before, we are now more lonely and more disconnected than ever before? We met someone who's trying to fix that problem, and it all started with a homework assignment. This is Sophie Ruiz. She's a recent graduate of the Ringling College of Art and Design, and she isn't your typical 20-something. While some college graduates are out at the beach or partying or working at a local coffee shop, this young lady is hard at work trying to create community in fun spaces, the kinds of experiences that truly move you, the kinds you find at major, big-budget theme parks. But she wants to make it work on a smaller scale and bring it to your hometown. Imagine, if you will, a fun place where you can take your friends during the day. But when the sun sets, the walls close in and the doors lock. And the entire mood becomes more menacing as those happy characters now try to keep you locked in. And the entire place becomes a giant escape room. That's just a tiny bit of what Sophie Ruiz has planned in order to help you make lasting memories with friends and family. Now, usually we at ThemedAttraction.com interview people at the middle or the end of their career. But in this case, we met Sophie at just the beginning. I feel like this is a special moment because I believe that Sophie is going to go on to do great things. And so, imagine if we could do an interview with a Steve Jobs or a Walt Disney when they were in their early 20s. What would they have said? Perhaps we just captured a special moment in time here today with Sophie. I think you'll see that her enthusiasm is contagious. She's a budding entrepreneur who wants to revolutionize fun spaces in order to help make those lasting memories that we all need. So we invite you now to listen in and then see if you can join her on her quest to solve the problem of community through great design. We now join this interview, recorded on the IAPA trade show floor, as we asked her what she had been doing and if she had just graduated from Wrangling College of Art and Design. I did. I was part of the first inaugural graduating class of Ringling College of Art and Design's Entertainment Design program. I graduated in May of this year. I did some work in the technical design field for a few months before deciding to step into my own company. And now I do uh, creative concept work as well as 3D modeling for different companies and things like that. And along with that, I felt inspired enough by my colleagues, my peers, and the reception I received for my thesis project to turn it into a FEC concept that I'm currently workshopping, refining, learning so much more about the industry before hopefully developing it into a reality. Excellent. So this is your senior project and you also put it up on the Themed Attraction Student Showcase. Yeah, absolutely. So this project, the gift that keeps on giving because I came up with it as a blue sky concept in my sophomore year of college and it was, you know, it was this goal of redefining what regional entertainment could mean. I love the theme parks, I love going to really immersive spaces, but I've always felt like regional entertainment has a unique ability to not only be accessible to so many different kinds of people, more affordable, but also immerse people on a much smaller scale. I think there's a really big opportunity there. So that's to say that that was my hope for the project when I first developed it in sophomore year. It was very rudimentary in a sense, but the, the vision was there. I actually started it in my, in my fall semester, and then in spring semester, I really was able to break it down operationally into how I think it, the day-to-day would work, the real fine details of things, even without knowing the square footage of the place. And it was really fun. And I was the whole class was submitting for the uh, theme attraction student showcase. We got a, a whole video production done. I did a slideshow presentation. And I was so nervous when I was talking about it. And I just, I love the idea so much. And I... I loved it so much that I wanted to get into every single facet that that I could from my personal research even before stepping into the industry professionally and I I was honored to win an operational management award for that concept and I was able to uh, speak with the judges and and even they were very uh, you know motivational for me uh, because they were like wow this is this is just really fun and cool and that's kind of my hope for this. What did one of the panelists say that maybe pushed you forward or or changed the direction uh, inspired you? Um, they, there was a lot of things that stuck out to me, but a big thing was that they were like, wow, they thought it was a group project. They thought it was like multiple people had worked on it, but it was just me. Uh, and it's because, I, you know, I love looking into every aspect of things, even if I don't fully understand it, I want to learn more. On top of that, it was really cool reception, not only to be like, you know, can I go? <laughs> when is it opening? Uh, but also, at the time, the big push for the project that I had started with it actually was a, it was a laser tag uh, reimagined prop set of a gauntlet and a vest. One of the panelists mentioned they were like, get a trademark on this. Get moving on on making this yours. And that was kind of my first step into thinking, 
this can be more than just a blue sky. This can be more than just an assignment. It, it never really felt like an assignment to me because I, I cared about it so much. I, I woke up every day and I wanted to work on it and make it better and all these things. But that moment I kind of had like, oh, I can make it a reality. I'm still having that moment here at, here at IAPA, learning from all the industry professionals and kind of really s sitting in the fact that you can, if you, not to be all cheesy, right? But if you have a dream and a goal, you can do it. You can figure out a way to do it. What is your art and design background? Yeah, so I have I have a pretty interesting, I like to say, uh, background. I went to a fine arts high school, New World, New World School of the Arts in um, Miami, Florida. And I did fine arts, so I'm, I guess, classically trained with doing charcoals, graphite, figure drawing, all that stuff. And then when we got to choose electives, I actually was able to work with a theater costume designer in that same facility. And she taught me how to construct garments, make patterns, and... That was a huge inspiration for me. I do uh, it for fun and for all these convention things I go to. I do cosplay costumes and I, I used to make a lot of them, not so much anymore because I'm more busy, but it's so fun for me to do that um, and really immerse yourself into that media. Um, and it's also just a fun challenge on top of that. Okay, so tell us about this concept. Okay, absolutely. Again, my biggest push for for this, uh, for, for working in regional entertainment, because I've had the honor and pleasure not only to work with it, within my community on uh, renovation projects and, and uh, uh, dining destinations and things like that, and now I work a lot with the theme parks. The thing with regional entertainment that I find myself continuously drawn to, no matter what I do, is that I, I love going into an immersive space that really tells a story and has that narrative. And I love also, I mean, who doesn't love a good arcade, right? And a good uh, regional location that you can take your family to, uh, or, or, or a young couple, or whoever wants to go. It's it's this draw of having uh, a community space for people. So uh, I see this need, basically, within uh, for it, in a lot of different markets. I think it appeals to, to young adults who, who like going to conventions and meeting people, but maybe that's once or twice a year uh, for them. So why can't we have a regional entertainment center uh, space where you have that same level of immersion that you'd see in, in a theme park or uh, you know, in a, in a more upscale location that's really syner uh, synergized in the design, it makes, tells a story, narrative driven, why not? Uh, that, that compels people to come back um, and really leave with something, leave with a story, leave impacted. Yeah. Because you see that impact in larger places. And I know I really have this drive to have a uh, accessible, uh, affordable, high quality and narrative story driven entertainment space that could be regional, uh, that you could do birthday parties at, that you can go and, and meet people and socialize uh, and have a good time. So all that to say, uh, the FEC location, of course, would incorporate the classic uh, arcade laser tag kind of setup. The original concept for my capstone did include an escape room experience that I love escape rooms, uh, and that was actually a big part of the capstone. Uh, but uh, a big part of escape rooms is, of course, you're paying for that square footage. How are you utilizing it to its maximum? How are you moving guests through there uh, as much as possible? And of course, once you do an escape room, you kind of figure out the puzzle. How, how many times can you do it? How profitable is it? Um, but with Stardust, uh, it has a it, it, narratively, it's driven a lot by music and 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 what music, how music works with the story. It's also very character driven, but the idea of the escape room is that it's adaptable and that these guests can come in and do at least five different, completely different experiences uh, and then come together in the end to share that end experience, which, um, not to, you know, it would be like a battle of the bands kind of ending to it, which is the kind of the exclamation part of the whole experience. And that, that's the thing too, is that, um, you know, that's adaptable, it's changeable. You can pick your song, you can pick your theme. Um, but at the same time, you are being given, fed that story from the minute you walk in. You know, the escape room is 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 uh, narratively helping. It, it's it's driven by what you've already been experiencing in the larger location, which is more, you know, maybe not everyone wants to do an escape room, but you can go hang out in the arcade or in the laser tag section or in the karaoke rooms, and that's just as narratively driven and story driven as everything else. All of that to say that I really, really feel like we could do something really incredible with regional entertainment, give people a space to talk and, and, and meet each other, communicate, build, foster that community, and then also leave them feeling like just the same way that you'd feel leaving any kind of attraction that really moves you, that really sticks with you. I'm incredibly passionate about it. I, I, I could talk all day about it. I'm working really hard to develop it, to continue refining the project. I'm working on a business plan now. Um, so uh, any, uh, I'm so thankful for you know meeting, uh, being at IAPA, meeting everyone. I did the FEC Rookies course this weekend, and I was 
I mean, I can't even tell you how many amazing people I met that were just interested to listen to me and gave me so much to think about. Uh, so I have a lot of work ahead, right? But uh, I, I'm, I'm so encouraged. I feel even more motivated than before. Yes, even with learning about finances and insurances and all those fun things. What makes the Stardust concept unique? Yeah, so that's that's a fantastic question um, because you see a lot of FECs to follow a similar conventions, and that's what the guest expects, right? Um, to follow those conventions, but um, I really uh, personally like to push that envelope as far as I can uh, in terms of having a cohesive theme and story that touches every single piece. Uh, I spent a very good amount of time this weekend and uh, here at, at the at the conference now, arcade machine with distributors and asking them, how can I, you know, how can, can I skin this? Can I put my IP on this? Uh, can I can I change this? Can I can I really can I do something that visually synergizes the space? And some of them look like look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> some of them are very receptive to that uh, kind of uh, creative initiative to rethink how we can do these things. You talk about doing some of the concept art, but talk about the business of your FEC. Stardust is kind of the blanket term for like me as you know my company because Stardust Entertainment, and then the original project was named Stardust Arcade and Diner. The business right now that I run as a so Stardust Entertainment is a LLC is a registered company. I'm the creative director, and I'm now of course I'm sole proprietor, so it's just me. But I do uh, consulting and I do 3D modeling and concept illustration for a couple different companies in the industry and a lot of that stuff is it's it's so it's been so fantastic and wonderful a lot of it's under NDAs I'm sure you can you can imagine but I'm able to work with museums and hotels and theme parks locally and then across the country right now and so that's kind of that's that's me on a currently for like work right um, but on the side I'm working really hard to develop uh, the FEC concept as well as my intellectual property, which is the driving force of the of the FEC concept, which is very prevalent in not only the themed attraction showcase video I did, but also in uh, my thesis and capstone project. On my portfolio website, I, I actually made a narrated, voice acted uh, look into one of the attractions that I would hope to build into the into the FEC, which I, I had so much fun doing and I was able to get a lot of really great talent onto that. Now, obviously, as one person, it's you can't do everything by yourself. You're going to need partners. So what does a partnership with you in this business look like? That's another great question. Um, I So we're in this really interesting uh, transition phase between concept and getting it built into reality. So I'm looking a lot into the business plan, business side of things, finances, insurance. Uh, I'm looking for a consultant that could help me uh, really get this off the ground, really uh, grounding the concept, uh, what I can do um, to improve it. Uh, I'm looking for people that could help me get the best possible uh, solution moving forward in terms of real estate, uh, really understanding the logistics of things, uh, next steps in general, um, looking for, uh, of course, looking for investment and uh, people who are interested in discussing further what they would like to see if they would be interested in investing in a project like this, what I can do to improve my, uh, you know, my market and, and my, my pitch and anything else like that. Um, you know, insurance. Of course, then I have to look into the fun stuff like, um, you know, arcade facilities and, and laser tag building, uh, arcades. I would love to talk to someone who knows about uh, setting up an escape room and things like that. It almost sounds like if someone is a has a space and they need to create a visionary to come in and help transform that space into a working concept that's a, a viable business, that you would be a really good person to talk to. I, that would be incredible. Uh, I completely agree, and thank you for saying that. I, I always say, I always make the joke. I'm like, I, I, I would, if I could, I would brick and mortar the thing, you know, because if you, if I had a building, I could work with. I, I have my vision, and I have, I have a concept, but anything that I can do to, to make it a reality, uh, I can adapt it. I can, I can work with it. Uh, I would be so happy. I really care about getting this vision out there. And I really believe, and I really, really believe that it could be great. So, anyone that would be willing to uh, work with me and talk about it uh, and get this off the ground, uh, that would be really incredible. If we wanted to get a hold of you and see your work and see your concept and your vision, how would we do that? Great question. I have a website that I'm working on right now. Uh, it is stardustentertainment.co. Um, that should be up by the time this is up, hopefully. And I will have uh, all my contact information on there, as well as a look into the Stardust concept uh, as it stands. Sophie Ruiz, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.